Let me show you some reporting capability in a room manager for uh, SharePoint. First, built in a room utilization is a feature which let you run some very basic reports over sites, location and categories. So this would be the built in reporting functionality, which let you select the site, the location, and then you can select any category of resource, primarily rooms for a certain time frame. This helps a lot to see how the usage of the resources like rooms, for example, has been gone uh, during this time period. So this can be changed from rooms to any other kind of resources and it will show you up how many bookings have been done. Additionally, there is a overall booking in the second tab, as you can see here, this is also built in. Uh, with the overall booking, you can just select the site and the system calculates the number, the total number of different uh, values uh, through the site. So the very first time uh, when you select here, uh, the site, the room manager will show you up, coming up with the different bookings totally in the in the uh, site one. Here we see by location the number of rooms, the rooms booked, the number of cars, the cars book, number of equipments, equipment books count, everything is here and uh, we can as well if needed add additional statistics here by new tabs and new registers so it can be customized uh, for your needs. The most important reporting capabilities in Room Manager is built in SharePoint actually. This is the old events list as you have seen. We have here all the events that have been booked by different fields. Uh, here there's a very strong capability to filter to sort by any of these field values. So uh, just give me all the bookings for room board. So when I click that, you see it's filtered. And now this filtered list can be further filtered. So you can combine filtering by rooms and location. If you need, after filtering and sorting, if you need um, this to be exported, uh, there is in the ribbon something by default set in SharePoint. It's the capability to export any list um, to uh, to Excel. So when I see a here open export to Excel, you see that Excel fires up uh, after entering my credentials for the authentication. This list will be exported one to one to Excel. So um, here you can continue uh, again with uh, filtering, with a drop down filtering, so called auto filtering. And from here as well, of course, you can go and create uh, your, uh, your your graphics uh, you can you, you can do all the rich set of uh, functionality that comes with Excel so this is again a very powerful feature uh, built in into into room manager and SharePoint to run uh, reports statistics statistics and export them uh, to Microsoft Office Excel you could even connect to Outlook if this does make sense. Uh, this is possible. So when you click here, you see you are exporting this list completely to Outlook. You connect it to Outlook. And you see here, connect the SharePoint calendar to Outlook. Uh, I can connect this calendar to Outlook. And once it's added to your Outlook, uh, you can manage as well all these events directly in Outlook. Primarily, let me recap, we have the room utilization. Uh, basic reporting functionality, as you have seen, uh, category-wise or overall. And I think even more powerful, the all events list with the built-in export to Excel feature, which comes with SharePoint. And additional reporting uh, or graphical designs can be done by customization depending on your exact requirements.